You have any kids, honey? Yes, I do. Do I have one daughter? She's four. Okay, turn. Okay, Sarah, get get that get together, baby. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Why, why are you not with your child's father? Oh, uh, we just didn't work out. We decided it was best if we go our separate ways. Okay. So just Sierra, another. 26, mm -hmm. works at a mortgage. Yes, work at a mortgage wholesale company. Okay, mom to a four-year-olds. Oh, where are you calling me from? Michigan. Michigan. All right. So we got Sierra in Michigan, 26 Virgo, works at a mortgage center. Yes, uh, a mortgage company. A mortgage company. Uh-huh. And she can't stay out of them comments. This should be a good one. 26, 26-year-old baby mama. The last woman, 27-year-old baby mama. They don't look like bad sisters, but y'all got these kids already. You can't make this up. And she talking about she into mortgage and real estate. They always do something. Stop. And she in the hood of Detroit or Michigan. She definitely in the hood. I saw that. I saw that challenger right past behind her. Ladies and gentlemen, we in the hood. Hold tight. And my two like or four-year-old is smaller. Say what happened? You know, like, like Rocket Mortgage, but it's like a smaller company. Did I know? This, I don't know what Rocket Mortgage is. Probably not. It's, it's like a wholesale mortgage company, basically. That's all okay. it is. Okay, fair yeah. enough. All right, mom, two, four year old, never married. Mm -hmm. What kind of man mm -hmm. you looking for, girl? I'm looking for a driven man, a focused man, an honest man, a generous man, and somebody who's thoughtful, too, you know? Okay, what does generous mean to you? Um, not a man who have everything, but a man who's willing to share what he have with, with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, just because a man have money don't mean he going to share it with you. So <laughs> a hardworking man is really somebody that I'm looking for. Generous me. You might not have it all, but when it comes to me, you got it for me. Okay. No, what I'm are your deal? Oh, I'm sorry. What happened, honey? Oh, I was reading the comments. It was like, she looked like she in the country in Flint. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, what are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers are disrespectful men, um, abusive men, uh, men who don't have anything going for themselves, men with a bunch of baby mamas. I don't do baby mama drama. Um, I do only have one child, one child father. Um, let me see. So what? One is too men, and this is on y'all. One is too many. If we get to that point as men. One is too many. They will stop doing this. And like, ah, the baby mama, I only got one. That's too damn much. And it's too much for their own good. They don't understand that. The man they want for, for him to treat them the way they want to be treated, they want to be pedestalized. Granted, you want to be pedestalized. He can't put you on that pedestal. When you didn't already put a ninja on that pedestal and gave him a kid without any commitment, it's absolutely impossible. So there you go. If y'all looking for resourceful men to take y'all seriously, one kid is too many. Talk to all these uh, decent looking sisters with one kid that's having a hard time finding a respectable man. Do not fall into that trap. Because she come up here, I'm looking for a generous man to come in here and take care of me. You have forfeited that life experience by having a child outside of wedlock. Can't put you on that pedestal. That's a one seat pedestal. And nug nugs, bastard child can go. <laughs> a man who don't know himself and a man who don't know what he want or a man who don't know what he's looking for, for sure. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I don't have a preference on looks. Um, but just keep yourself together, you know, just keep yourself up to par. If you know that you shouldn't be trying to date me, then just move around. But no, no specific on looks, but I do like a handsome man. Now you can't be ugly. I'm not going to, you do have to be handsome. You ain't got to be all of that, but you got to look like something for sure. Okay. For some reason they're saying it's harder to see you now. Is there a way, um, you want the light to be in your face. Okay. Like, this right is here? good. Yeah, this is good. Okay. okay. Um, yes, you got to hold it though. Um, should the guy make a certain amount of money? Um, no, not a certain amount of money, but just be able to take care of yourself. And if you have children, you definitely have to be in your children's life. I'm sorry, that's a deal breaker too for me. Like, um, if you have kids, you have to be there for your children. 
I'm I'm big on that. Um, just make sure you take care of your business, and you can take care of whatever you got to take care of. I can take care of my own self and my daughter, but you definitely have to come to the table with something. No expectations on money, but like I said, if you have it, you do have to be willing to, you know, help me out. Okay. Now let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, let me see. I was trying to see what kind of cars was in the driveway. Okay, all right. Holy hell. Hey, sweet girl. Oh, she got whole cheeks out. Yeah, she in the hood. They in the comments saying you in the backwood country of Flint. She said, no, I ain't. Mm-mm. Yeah, she ain't backwoods country. She in the streets in them cities. <laughs> no, she well, most, most of these little backwood country towns is the hood in most of these and, Yeah, that's what I just about to say. Yeah, Flint. Yeah, shoot. Where I lived in Detroit, it's all like backwoods. Yeah. <laughs> But as we see, y'all see she busting out the bra. Y'all see she got a little something back there. So this is, once again, nug nug catnip. I ain't buying it. Got the little white skirt on trying to look all innocent and and prim and proper and demure. (laughs) Ain't buying it, man. Go tell nug nug them sweet lies. Yeah, you talking about generous? Nug nug come through? No bread, no water, just meat. That's it. <laughs> there we go. Half off, Shorty. Now, I'm going to ask this because some men might yeah. say, You want me to help you out? Mm-hmm. Does your child's father help you out? Yeah, he does. He take care of her responsibilities. I don't mean like, Oh, I need you to pay all my bills. But say, for instance, I got a flat tire. I shouldn't have to worry about the flat tire. You should be like, Bae, I'll, I'll get that tire fixed for you. I'll pay for it. Don't you worry about it. Just somebody who, you know, who can assist me. I don't need you to take care of me, but you definitely have to be able to do something. You can't come around here doing nothing. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> when was your last relationship? Uh, Three years ago. Your child's father? Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, three weeks ago. Nasty. Your child's father? No. Oh, okay. No. Is that guy an option? <laughs> uh, um... No, it's kind of like a situation ship. I'm not gonna lie. Back to back. The or the last woman. She was what? 28. We had the one woman, 28 with no kids. She just slept with a guy a week ago. You know, this woman 26. Just slept with a guy. I told y'all cut it in half. She said three weeks. We're gonna call it a week and a half or a week, a week ago. <laughs> I love it. I love the sick math, but you got to take it into account. It's for your best interest. It's nasty. It's stank. It's funky. What'd I say? She got on this white little dress. Like y'all say, white supposed to be pure. You ain't pure. You purely nasty. Just, just a situation ship. Understand some fellas, these situation ships, that's raw hunching. Ain't no, ain't no hubs. Nope. no, Maybe the first time they did it, maybe the second time, third time, raw, and there forward. Trust me. <laughs> so you don't want a relationship with him? No, I don't want a relationship with him. Okay. Um, <laughs> three flaws you want to work on? Um, I think that I can be impatient. Um, I also can be like, uh, if you know Virgos, so I'm kind of like a perfectionist. So like, I'm a little bit picky, kind of bit like a, a bit of a nitpicker. And um, I could say I could work on my patience too. Sometimes I'm like really impatient. Like if I want it, then I want it now. Don't make me wait. Don't make her wait. Okay. <laughs> and um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I think I'm fun. I'm outgoing. I have an awesome personality. Um, I have a good taste in music. I love to cook. And I just think I'm all around just like a good person, a good woman. I don't know too many people who don't come around me and don't like, you know, appreciate my aura or just like love my personality. Okay. Okay. And let's get to it. So what's the age range you would date, Sierra? You're 26. I'm 26. I think I do 26 to about 33, 35, maybe. 33, 35. That's your problem. You should be dating 40 and up. You got a kid. And she sat here. She just slept with a guy a week ago. Kendra says, he an option? She said, no. 
I just like hunching them. That all that stuff I just told you about generous and God fearing. That's for the simp. That's for the man I don't like. The man I like, you could just come through and hunch me. And and did. I hate to draw the comparisons, but it's true, man. There ain't no way a ninja could come up here and be like, oh, I was just hunching about a week and a half ago. Is that is that could that be a relationship? No, that's just a situation ship. I'm looking, I'm looking for a woman to come in and and you know be my woman now. Kendra would have laid on that for at least five minutes trying to trying to make that guy you know feel bad for saying that but this sister all these sisters they get away with it i was hunting a week ago kendra next question <laughs> amazing and should he be in michigan oh no he don't have to be in michigan okay do you want more kids no <laughs> oh, you don't want more kids okay no so he, can, so he should have kids home. already yes that's fine okay all right, are you on the Kendra? Oh, hell, man, take notes. The other woman said the same thing. She was 27 with a seven year old. She had the BBL body. I ain't having no more kids. You ain't messing my body up. This woman here, she might not have a BBL, but she ain't completely blowed out. And she said, You ain't about to finish me. She said, I got a little something going. I'm not having no more kids. I ain't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> how the freak ever she won't give you the greatest honor this is wicked squeegee kid we got good data here she won't give you the greatest honor but you must come in and be very generous and a hundred percent resourceful understand what she said when she said that if i get a flat tire you need to figure out how to get that fixed either you're gonna replace it triple a take it to the shop you got to be 100% resourceful. That's what these women want. They think that comes standard. No, that comes with devoted relationships where no matter what happens with the vehicle, with the car, your man going to find a solution quickly. There will be minimum inconvenience. Definitely ain't standing on the side of the road waiting on nothing other than AAA to keep on going on your way. You don't qualify, sister. Yeah, yeah, at this point, they're asking for you to come in here, take care of Nug. She got a four-year-old. She got a four-year-old kid. You got to come in and raise this kid. You better have your own kids from another woman. She ain't giving you none. <laughs> she got this four-year-old from the baby daddy, obviously. Then she got a maintenance man. <laughs> come on, man. You literally competing with two dudes. For real, for real. Nah, because nah, I don't sleep with my baby daddy no more. And that dude a week ago, I cut him off. So his DNA still flows through you. What are we talking about? <laughs> Could be pregnant and not know it right now. And this is how they get you get these women. She will meet a man right now. Be some simp. I hate to call him a man. She'll meet some simp. And she'll be a month pregnant to meet this guy. And he'll just she like, I met, I started dating him when I was pregnant. I met him when I was one month pregnant, you know, and since kid. He been there since the beginning. He the daddy. I want to throw up right now all over this computer. <laughs> That's sick. So the guy she the guy she meet from the Kendra show is about to come in here to a woman who may be pregnant, and you got to deal with it. This is sick, man. Remember that one sister that uh confessed to being pregnant by Nug Nug number one? And had Nug Nug number two help hunch the baby of Nug Nug number one out of her. <laughs> sick. So yeah, at this point, we're gonna send her to Pound Town. It's over. That's the only place she can go. <laughs> they need to eat me out. Hi. I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Hi. Hit the like button, folks. <laughs>